What's up, Nets fans? What's up, Nets fans? It's your boy, Mizzle. It's your boy, Rem. Yes, it's just us two today. Shout out to Cousin Jeff. He is on assignment doing his thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, We're back with another episode. Don't forget to subscribe. That's right. Subscribe if you like Nets content like this. And subscribe to the podcast too. Shout out to Anchor for the partnership. But that's all we'll say about that until we get them bucks. But uh, I don't even like saying bucks no more. Until we get that paper. Oh, yeah. I don't even yeah, like saying yeah, books yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. like saying it no more, man. But <laughs> until not. we get that paper, <laughs> you know what I mean? So we won't be saying too much about that. But anyway, shout out to uh, Anchor. Anyway, we, we like to joke and kid around here. Uh, Rem, some new stuff, some new developments. You know, mm-hmm. it's a slow off season, especially it's when. It's going to be slow, man. Yeah, it's of a course. slow off season, especially when you are a championship contender. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's a lot of praise, high praise out there that we're going to talk about. We're going to get right into the stuff. We got the new schedule. We didn't get a chance to talk about the schedule. We got the preseason schedule. We're just waiting for the preseason schedule so we could talk about the stuff that we're going to highlight. In the preseason, we're going to see the Bucks and we're going to see the Lakers. We open up the preseason against the Lakers, Bucks and Lakers. Who cares? Uh, yeah, it's, no, nobody's, the stars playing. Won't play. nobody's playing for that. The Stars will not be playing. We're going to see what the young guys of the Nets and the young guys of the Lakers Young guys are the Lakers. Just gonna watch Cam beat up on these uh these uh quote unquote young guys, these these 30, 32 year olds and I doubt any of those guys play. <laughs> and by the way, they just got Rajon Rondo. They got a little they try they didn't get the Lakers? him. They didn't get him Rajon Rondo today. He's in a buyout and the Lakers are the front runners to get him. Rich. So they're still thinking about getting a little bit younger. <laughs> Right, I see, right, I see, I see. <laughs> so uh, we will be seeing them. We'll talk about the Laker game in the regular season, but let's get straight to the regular season, right? 38 nationally televised games this year. Mm, they want to nice. see the Nets. They want nice. to see us. The only team with more are the Lakers uh, with 41, three more. That's it. Uh, you guys want to watch those old guys. That's that's good with y'all. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? That's, that's, that's cool. Uh, but let's talk about uh, the, the the season opener. Let's Who's get straight to the opener? schedule. Talk about that season opener against season the, the the deer the, the deer guys. Oh, the I don't deer. even want to say bucks. The deer, the deer guys. The deer guys. Oh, let's, yeah. uh, it's against them. They will be getting their championship ring right in front of us, and they're gonna get spanked. Open at night. They yeah, get spanked. We win that game. You Forty. So? 40, 40. Oh. They're getting spanked by like 30, 40. I'm just, you, know, you know how it is. Open at night, you get your championship rings. Mm-hmm. They're purposely doing the championship ceremony because not all teams do opening night cha- championship ceremonies, but they're purposely doing it against us and mm-hmm. want to rub it in our face. But yep. we're going to get you. And I remember you guys. Every time y'all had scored, every time y'all played, y'all wanted to play Notorious. Y'all are going to get a Notorious it's a family show. Y'all gonna get a notorious <laughs> beat down this year, so it's gonna be fun watching the the, the Nets and the Bucks. That's right, and the and the, and the deer and the deer. Uh, I uh, killed the deer. Funny story. Yes, on the I road. Do know. <laughs> <laughs> Tell the people. I do know. Uh, yeah, Brooklyn long, has killed the deer before. Long, long story. Iowa State. Please, animal cruelty. This was not Ooh, anything. Peter. Peter. All of this wasn't. It, it was you just on camera. A deer in headlights just came out on me. But Literally. We went through. We went through it. Just like the I Nets are going to go through the deer this year. So. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. So we will be opening it up against them. 10-19. 10-22 will play the Sixers, another championship contender. I'm not going to spend too much time on them because we don't even know who contender. will be on your team. Russ said cha- championship contender. Yeah. Uh, they, they, got, they got other things that they need to worry yeah, about. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to figure out who's going to be on your team. And then we have our home opener. So they got us on the road. Opening up the season, they want to watch us on TV. Opening it up, they want to see if we're gonna lose on the road. But we finally get home. 10:24, home opener against Lamelo Ball and those Charlotte, those new look Charlotte Hornets. That's they gonna, be look, that's gonna be a good game. It's gonna be, be a good game year, for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, and then another highlighted game will be 11. You mean PJ Washington in the Hornets? <laughs> <laughs> PJ Washington, <laughs> the 16th. My bad. 
man, that's that's a dig at P, PJ Washington. <laughs> if you guys don't know anything about PJ Washington, look him up. Just just Google PJ Washington and uh, what is it? Child support, alimony. <laughs> pick, pick one. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, look that up. Um, and then eleven sixteen, which will be the big game when the Warriors come to the Barclays. The Warriors will be in the building at the Barclays. It's a big game. That's not big a big game. game. That's what? not a big game. No, bro. every time KD play the Warriors, game. it's a big game. That's not a big game. No? You know what game we want, bro. Stop What's playing, game? man. What's the game? Man? Come on, man. What's the game? We you already want? You mentioned the preseason, it. bro. Come on. You talk Christmas about it. Day. Christmas, Christmas Day, Day man. at eight o'clock after you get all the stuff, uh, all the Christmas oh, food, all the presents. Uh open the kids are going wild it's gonna be on the east coast it's gonna be dark on the west coast it's still sunny yeah. five o'clock pacific time we will be getting the main course the main course. finals potential finals preview lakers nets in la I'm not even doing the I'm not even doing the potential finals or nothing because we get ourselves hurt in the end mm. but I feel great about it. We needed this. We needed this for basketball. We could yes. finally see them. I'm just hoping that both teams are 130% healthy. It right. doesn't mathematically make sense, but <laughs> they are healthy, fully healthy, and ready to just go. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I'm, I'm excited for that one. Hopefully, we get a chance to see everybody go. And if they don't go on that day, everybody, they got a month. A month later, 125, mm -hmm. the Lakers at the Nets, they will be coming to the Barclays. LeBron and them yep. will be coming to the Barclays. The Battle of the X's right in Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. Okay? So that's a big game. A month later, 125, and the last big game that we're going to highlight. I don't know if you think it's a big game or not, Rev. But KD goes back to Golden State. <laughs> Full capacity, hopefully. Oh, hopefully this is the first time full yeah, capacity. Yeah, full capacity. Okay, hopefully that's... everybody's vaxxed over there. Yeah. Hopefully we don't uh, suffer any mishaps. I'll just knock on wood. I know. Uh, shout out to Mike Ortiz, by the way. Shout out to Mike Ortiz. He does the sound. So, Mike Ortiz, I'm, I'm just giving it a, a little knock. A little <laughs> knock on wood, you know. A little knock on wood that uh, we can all stay healthy. Fans can stay in the building. And KD will have his first taste back in san francisco they won't be in oakland this will be in san, san francisco. francisco uh you know kd's heavy out there so uh we'll see if they'll show some respect show kd some love yes, right sir. let's keep moving on to um james Ta james harden who was talking in the media shout out to him by the way it was his birthday he turned 32 i'll give you three guesses where, where james harden went that night <laughs> three guesses. I'll give you three guesses, and I'll give you three guesses who he was who with. Is, who he was with? <laughs> Little baby and James Harden most likely hung out, uh, and they had a had a ball somewhere that's a strip club somewhere in America. Was, was Deshaun Watson there as well? Possibly. Possibly. Deshaun, hopefully, you wasn't at no strip. You, you had a little <laughs> bit of trouble, a little bit of trouble with the women. So hopefully, you wasn't with them too much. Uh, oh, but yeah, James Harden, happy birthday, happy birthday to you turned 32 is in the prime of his life uh and uh he says nobody can beat the nets fully healthy how do you feel about that yeah bro just be healthy man and we will talk about right, it. right right like, don't like don't say all of this stuff that right. we're expecting to see be healthy and let's just play basketball james I, I agree. Sorry. I happen to agree. And your I, trainer, little baby, I hope he has you in the best shape of, 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 of your life for this upcoming season. Yeah, he, he slimmed down. He looked like he's whatever little baby do to, to keep slim. He looked like James Harden was <laughs> James Harden has been engaging because he did slim down. So shout out to you for slimming down. All right, James Harden. Uh, but let's talk about extensions here. Kyrie Irving. We haven't talked about him on the show for a First of all, let's let's shout out Kyrie Irving. Uh, he just made it official to be a part of his Native American tribe that his mother represents. Shout out to that. Uh, Kyrie is off the court uh, during the offseason. We haven't had a chance to give him his flowers. We're giving him his flowers. He's been taking care of people left and right. He's been yeah. doing yeah, nothing but philanthropic, uh, uh, philanthropic rather, <laughs> philanthropic work. Tomato, tomato. Uh, <laughs> you, you know, uh, he, he's, he's, been, he's been nothing but a philanthropist is what yeah. I've been saying, uh, what, I, what I wanted to say. Uh, and he's been nothing but a standout individual. He's been working out. Him and Mello was working out in L.A. I saw a picture with him and Mello. We might put it up there if I find it. Um, mm -hmm. I should be able to find it. But him and Mello was working out in L.A. And in his Instagram post, he hinted on that he might be staying in Brooklyn 
long term. I don't, yeah, I don't want to listen. I heard him t- say that he wanted to stay places long term. When I see you sign the dotted line, I I don't put anything past anybody. I love you, Kyrie. Come back, please. But sign the dotted line first. Don't 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 tweet anything. Or (laughs) very true. Very true. That's a perspective (laughs) that I didn't even think about. Right. But we'll see if we can get the job done. Marx is adamantly trying to get the job done before the season opens so let's see if you can get it done and we also got to sign this guy too we're talking about james harden all three he says he wants to stay here one of the reasons he came here obviously for a championship uh but those off-court opportunities for him to get that bag new york are new here. york Brooklyn, you know new york. It, it, we are the media capital uh one of the best cities and the best borough in the world in the world i don't know how many boroughs there are in the world but <laughs> this is the best borough okay with 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 that said james harden wanted to come here so he had those off court opportunities um he said they are immense over here so hopefully we could get those deals done they get their on court money and james james harden you get your off court money over here as yes, well sir. let's move on vegas is picking the nets to win the championship Mm -hmm. these power rankings are coming out they are picking the nets to be the best team and they're picking us to have the most wins out of the whole nba and then the power rankings of the east obviously if they say we're gonna win all the east they are saying we are the beasts of the east Mm -hmm. and what we are talking about kd has been in nothing He's been in nothing but the favor favor in in the media. People have been been saying he's the best in the world. He has he has mm-hmm. usurped LeBron, uh, uh, Giannis, who won the chip, mm-hmm. his own player. This is where we're gonna stop and let his own play. Drew Holiday was on the 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 JJ Reddick show, and this. I mean, I don't have any uh, opinion in terms in terms of all of these. Uh, uh, Vegas talks and bets, but I'd rather them just keep the nets off. I don't care about what the scouts, Vegas, or any of them, because they they don't know they don't know a thing. They don't know a thing. And in terms of the the, the KD talk, love you guys, I love you Nets work. But KD, I don't think he's surpassed or usurped LeBron yet. Like you still have to do something, and we need you to bring that chip to to Brooklyn. So until I see that. I, I'm gonna say I'm, I'm gonna cut all that talk out. Like I'm not putting KD as the number one in the NBA. You've done nothing. Like you haven't done anything for you to be mm. the number one in the NBA right now. You guys so know I'm how I feel. Um, yes. Even yes, Drew, we, even even uh, Drew Holiday. Like you know whatever he said. Like uh, I, if I'm Giannis, I'm stuffing you in a locker, bro. I, I gave I brought you a chip. I get f- fifty on Game Seven. Like you're crazy. Like. Uh, whoever runs the Bucks should definitely look at trading Drew Holiday. Uh, <laughs> like, trade Drew Holiday after send they his, got Drew no, Holiday no, you know and got themselves a chip? Send him, send him to go play with his brothers and get back the real thing. Uh, get Brogdon uh, back. Uh, get Brogdon uh, back. Because Brogdon would never do that to Giannis. He would never do man, that to Giannis. He KD's said, great. He's the greatest offensive talent that I've ever seen. Uh-huh. So in that, that hands down. But he's So you not, don't believe KD is the best in the NBA? No. Ah, I, don't. I, don't. I don't. I don't. And that's for the Nets work. I don't. Look, he's keeping it above, guys. You can't. Always. You can't be mad at him. You can't Always. be mad at him. But I don't agree. I do not agree. <laughs> exactly. I wholeheartedly agree with Drew Holiday and everybody else in the NBA. KD <laughs> is the best in the NBA right now. He is. He showed it. He he showed it on all levels. If he had his full team and if his if his big toe was just a little bit smaller, if his big toe was just a little bit smaller, a we would be right if it was a fifth we'd all be drunk right (laughs) but i know for a fact this guy healthy is the best player all those great stuff they're talking about they're saying kd is the best drew holiday saying kd is he 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 tried to backtrack he didn't say kd is the best but he did not say kd wasn't the best and he didn't say his man was the best so you guys check it out um Drew Holiday, listen, man, uh, I'm with Rem. You gotta, even if, even if you got, even if you're trying to be a hundred, like <laughs> Rem is keeping it a hundred right now. You see what I'm saying? KD don't play with Rem on a team. 
we and good, then just right? win a chip <laughs> with Rem. We you know what I'm saying? So, uh, Drew Holiday, you gotta chill out. You gotta, uh, you gotta, you gotta relax, as my man Nori would say on his podcast. You gotta relax, and I agree with Rem. I agree with Rem. Just to close out, because we're finishing up over here, we have nothing else to talk about. Just to close out, Rem, I agree with you. Mm. All this, we number one, we this, we that. Okay, the honeymoon's over. Kyrie and Katie are here, and, done, and James yeah. Harden is here, and yes, we have a good team, and yes, they're exciting to watch, and yes, they're the most potent offense when three of them are healthy and blah, 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 blah. We had enough. The honeymoon's over. Get it done. All right? There's no excuses. Get it done. This yeah. year, we need to get it done. I got vaccinated so I could go to a parade. I did not go to a parade. Get it it done this year. I'm tired of everybody loving us and all that. I don't want it. I don't want you to love us unless we got some hardware that Larry OB trophy. Let's and this is where it. I stop. Let's go get it. That's where I stop. And anything else you have to say? You have to Not add anything else, to that? I'm good. <laughs> that's it, guys. Listen, if you like Nets content like this, I told you follow us on Twitter, follow us on Facebook, follow us on, or well, add us on Facebook and follow us on Instagram. And please, don't forget to subscribe, throw on your notifications, and check us out on the podcast, all right? It's your boy Mizzle. It's your boy Rem. And we out of here, Brooklyn. Let's go, let's go. Brooklyn. Get that chip. I said Brooklyn. Larry OB. And then we out. We not playing. We not playing. <laughs>